Good. And then we're going to slowly open the knees wide and walk the arms forward. Let your forehead come down towards your, the ground. Breathe here into your lower back, the whole back of your body, your inner groins. Mm. Good. And then we're going to walk the hands back. Right, so we're going to set up for Bakasana Crow Pose, but we're going to use our block today for a little perch. So what I'd like you to do is take your block and take it under your left foot. Right, your right foot is to the ground. Hands to the ground. And you're going to bring your hips up high. So we have to get our heavy parts, our booty up in the air. And you're going to bend the elbows straight back like Chaturanga. Now remember the Bakasana we did on our back. You take your knees all the way to the upper arms and you're gonna squeeze them into the center. You're gonna use that hugging into the midline power. You're gonna start to shift forward. Your elbows shift over your wrists. You look forward. Your outer wrists hug in. You pull the belly and you round your spine. Option one, you stay right here. Option two, the right foot lifts off the ground. The left foot stays on the block. You squeeze and again, you round your spine. You look forward. Maybe the left foot lifts off the ground as well. That's it, try holding wherever you are for three, for two, for one, and then slowly come all the way down. Come off of the block, just sit in Malasana squat pose. 